Welcome to our lesson about STL files or stereolithography files. In order for your customers to save e-drawings as STL files, you need to make this option available first. Let's go to File, Save As, then from the Save As Type drop-down menu, let's select e-drawing file, and let's click Options. Make sure you check Allow Export to STL for parts and assemblies. Let's click OK, and let's rename this part as Lesson 89. Save, Current Configuration Only, and OK. Now let's open eDrawings. I'm going to open the file I just saved. Now click on Save As. And now your viewer or customer will be able to select STL as the type of file from this drop-down menu. If your customer or viewer is saving the file as an eDrawings document, she can check here to allow STL export. I'm going to cancel out of this window and then close this document. I'm just going to show you a couple more things here. I've opened the eDrawing assembly document and I've got two different configurations. Here are their thumbnails in the left side panel. The default configuration has an explode view available. Let's close this document and then open the original SolidWorks assembly document. SolidWorks lets us open up the assembly or part documents, as you see here. However, the configurations are not available to us. The Explode option is grayed out. However, we're able to use almost the same tools that are available for eDrawing files to get the view we need. This concludes our lesson about using STL files.